Welcome into the channel, beautiful soul. This is Sage, Sunset Healing, Tarot. Much love to you. Thank you so much for being here and I hope you are doing well. These are going to be general love messages for the sign of cancers. All of the messages may not apply to all of you. So listen well, take the messages that apply and the rest you let them fly. Um, thank you so much for liking the video, for sharing it with those you love, and for subscribing to the channel. All of your support is abundantly appreciated. Now let us get into your love messages for today, my darling. Stay tuned. Cancer, no doubt you are glorious. You are worthy of all you deserve to have. You are so super abundant. You have a very deep soul, a soul full of light. I hear, I feel. And you may be receiving a message from uh, maybe a fellow water sign. You may be sending a message, but this is going to be good. Good feelings moving towards you. It could be a message of someone that is attracted to you. Or if it's not a message, it's gestures of love, um, of care, so on and so forth. Maybe intimate gestures, so on and so forth. Someone may be wanting to move forward to you with that today in your love messages. I saw another card. I'm looking for it. In the meantime, I want to remind you. Oh, I want to remind you that I am promoting my book. I wrote this book in 2016, 2017, published it on Amazon in 2017. I still am a little iffy about it. And that is why I haven't been talking about it because I feel I need to edit. But at the same time, there are some very important messages in the pages or in the words written in that book that I feel needs to be read by you. So check out the description box. Thank you so much for your purchases and your good kind words, your reviews. If you do leave a review on the book, much love and appreciation for that. Yes, yeah, so I was about to say someone is waiting on you, for you. Maybe if they're not, it's like they're not taking action until you get there. That is what I just heard. Until you get there. I don't know where that is. That's a message. Look, still waiting. This is the energy I was searching for. I feel like you're protected. I feel like... Mm. All right, this is a love message. Let's keep it in that check. What's happening in love? So someone may come around that is really attracted to you. You may have dialogue or discourse or something like that with a with a Piscean moon sign. There may be secrets or feeling of, feelings of intimacy, deep intimacy, like deep knowing of this person's psychic abilities and all of that. But the feeling of this of knowing this person is so deep. Maybe you can't even put your finger on it. That is the kind of deep I feel like. And it's more like you, you, you've you, made love to this person or something before. This, this person may, may currently be in your life representing as someone else in this life. But it's possible that in a past life, you and this person had such a deep connection or something like that. It's just like you can't put your finger on it. Maybe you see this person every single day. Maybe you see this person every day. You just feel like you're not aware of what is going on really with these emotions someone may be pregnant having a child look someone may want to get someone pregnant i said that in your yesterday's reading cancer yes because whenever i see when i see this lover's card is the is that moment of climax together with a person when both of you transcend up to um cloud nine really and it's also the energy of fertility planting seed when i see the lover's card it reminds me of lust and i hear intentions of lust intentions of lust because in mythology i don't remember which mythology it could be greek there's a there's a god called pan and he was the god of lust i feel like he's the one that is represented here he is very lustful and he actually reaped a lot of our word he our word a lot of 
according to the mythology that I read, a lot of young girls when they were walking, or nymphs or whatever, when they were walking in the forest, that's what this was. He was a god. He could do this to the nymphs, you know. He just had his way with these nymphs because he had a lot of lust. He he loved women. Um. So what else about him? He's also the god of fertility, of life, of planting seed, pan, reproductivity, reproduction. See that? So it's like lower carnal nature energy. Look paired with the king of wands and this is what someone may be feeling desiring for you like the f word that's what they want to do to you that's how they feel this is how this person feels but i feel like you the way the reason why they may not be saying it to you or acting on it you know, it's because you're in strength vibration. You are controlling the narrative of the relationship or something like that. Of how you two interact. Some, you're controlling controlling it. I feel like you do sense that this is how this... You're now aware. And there's someone around you that feels heavily attracted to you. And I hear soulfully and dimensionally. Whatever that means. Yeah, like I was saying, it's almost like this person is from your past. Maybe in a past life, honestly, this is where we're going. Even this person had a, a really horrible ending. For real. Like, this is how I feel. That's why it's so passionate now with the lover's energy. And I feel like it's almost like both of you feel this, but you're not saying it. It's that energy like, like you know, someone is... Do -do 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 -do. Oh, you know the energy. I'm going to get back to a movie now. So we're going to reflect. Will Smith in Hancock. He had a he was a superhero, right? And so the other the female, which was the wife of his friend, she too was a superhero on the down low. She was pretending to be normal, but he always sensed something strange and familiar about her. Mm-hmm. Right? So there's a person around you that you may not be involved with. You know, they may be out of your reach. They may be married to another person or something. They may be family or a friend or something. But there's a beautiful connection between the two of you. And it would be so powerful. Too powerful, maybe, if both of you aligned, like, in the movie. But I feel like in the past, there it, it ended rough. Yeah? I feel like this person's been looking for you in some way, shape, or form. Maybe you had to leave this person cancer. You know what I mean? You had to leave. I don't know. So, like you had to depart. I feel like you love this person so much. but And both of you, I say, soulmates. But you had to move away. And it hurts you. I feel like you walked away crying. And then this person that you left was your soulmate. The energy that they were left in, in the past life, it is as if the force that separated you was so divine, perhaps. The force, the blast of the separation was so powerful. They couldn't find you for a while. But it was always their intention to reunite with you. But they couldn't find find you maybe energetically maybe because you changed perhaps and so now they come looking for you in this life and they're here <laughs>